Gota Canal. The Gota Canal is a Swedish canal constructed in the early 19th century. It formed the backbone of a waterway stretching some, linking a number of lakes and rivers to provide a route from Gothenburg, Göteborg, on the west coast to Sadekoping on the Baltic Sea via the river Gota Av and the Trollhat Canal, through the large lakes Fonern and Vatern. The canal itself is long, of which were dug or blasted, with a width varying between and a maximum depth of about. It has 58 locks and can accommodate vessels up to long, wide and draft. Gota Canal is a sister canal of Caledonian Canal in Scotland, which was also constructed by Thomas Delford. The idea of a canal across southern Sweden was first put forward as early as 1516, by Hans Brask, the Bishop of Linköping. However, it was not until the start of the 19th century that Brask's proposals were put into action by Baltzer van Platten, a German-born former officer in the Swedish Navy. He organized the project and obtained the necessary financial and political backing. His plans attracted the enthusiastic backing of the government and the new king, Charles XIII, who saw the canal as a way of kickstarting the modernization of Sweden. Von Platten himself extolled the modernizing virtues off the canal in 1806, claiming that mining, agriculture and other industries would benefit from a navigation way through the country. The project was inaugurated on April 11, 1810 with a budget of 24 million Swedish retailers. It was by far the greatest civil engineering project ever undertaken in Sweden up to that time, taking 22 years of effort by more than 58,000 workers. Much of the expertise and equipment had to be acquired from abroad, notably from Britain, whose canal system was the most advanced in the world at that time. The Scottish civil engineer Thomas Telford developed the initial plans for the canal and traveled to Sweden in 1810 to oversee some of the early work on the route. Many other British engineers and craftsmen were imported to assist with the project, along with significant quantities of equipment, even apparently mundane items such as pickaxes, spades and wheelbarrows. The Gota Canal was officially opened on September 26, 1832 in an event commemorated by the painter Johann Christian Berger in his work The Opening of the Gota Canal on September 26, 1832. Von Platten himself did not live to see the completion of the canal, having died shortly before its opening. However, it was never an economic success. The arrival of the railways in 1855 quickly made it redundant, as trains could carry passengers and goods far more rapidly and did not have to shut down with the arrival of winter, which made the canal impassable for five months of the year. By the 1870s, the canal's goods traffic had dwindled to just three major types of bulk goods forest products, coal and ore, none of which required rapid transportation. Traffic volume stagnated after that and never recovered. Bishop Hans Brask's original justifications for the canal's construction were the onerous sound dues imposed by Denmark Norway on all vessels passing through the narrow or sun channel between Sweden and Denmark and the trouble with the Hanseatic League. The canal enabled vessels traveling to or from the Baltic Sea to bypass the Oresund and so evade the Danish toll. In 1851, the tycoon Andre Oscar Wallenberg founded the company for Swedish Canal Steamboat Transit Traffic to carry goods from England to Russia via the canal. However, it only ran two trips between St. Petersburg and Hull via Mutala before the Crimean War halted Anglo-Russian trade. After the war ended, the great powers pressured Denmark into ending the 400-year-old tradition of the sound dues, thus eliminating at a stroke the canal's usefulness as an alternative to the Orison. The canal had one major industrial legacy in the shape of Mutala Verkstad, a factory established in Mutala to produce the machines such as cranes and steam dredgers that were needed to build the canal. This facility has sometimes been referred to as the cradle of the Swedish engineering industry. After the canal was opened, Mutala Verkstad focused on producing equipment, locomotives and rolling stock for the newly constructed railways, beginning a tradition of railway engineering that continues to this day in the form of Absvenska Jarnvogs Verkstad Erna's Airplane Abdelning, ASJA, that was bought by the airplane manufacturer Saab in Linköping. The Trollhat Canal, is a canal in Sweden that is now part of the Gota Canal. It connects the Gota Alv River with Lake Vanern. Ships classified as Vanermax are of the maximum dimensions that will fit through the canal. The maximum dimensions for a boat to traverse this canal are this allows ships of around 4,000 tons in total. The allowed height allows ocean-going ships. Around 3.5 million tons of goods is freighted annually on Trollhat Canal. Trollhat Canal has six locks. They are from north to south. Parts of the canal are still used to transport cargo but it is now primarily used as a tourist and recreational attraction, dubbed Sveriges Blåband, Sweden's Blue Ribbon. 
Around 2 million people visit the canal each year on pleasure cruises, either on own boats or on one of the many cruise ships, and related activities. The canal is called the divorce ditch because of the troubles that couples have to endure while trying to navigate the narrow canal and the Manai locks by themselves. From the east coast of Sweden to Lake Vanern the locks are as follows, with meters of height difference per lock. Lake Vatern, 88 meters above sea level. Lake Viken Canal highest point. After Lake Vanern, 44 meters above sea level. Troll Hat Canal to Gothenburg and the west coast of Sweden. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.